All right, so here we go. We got quiz two with the section views as well as detailed views. I'm going to be showing you how to create this. Now, don't be too, um, don't be freaking out too much thinking that this is pretty complex because it's not that bad. We just need to break it down into its parts. Um, so basically what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to create this actual block piece. And so what we want to do is we want to look for those dimensions. It's 100 millimeters by uh, 30 millimeters, um, so 30 millimeters in depth, and then 30 millimeters in heights, 100 millimeters in width. So all we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you kind of the breakdown of this, but we're going to go ahead and press the back button a couple times, and then we're going to go ahead and create this. So we're going to start off with the sketch on the front plane. We're going to make this centered on the origin. We're going to go ahead and press right here. We're going to do 100 millimeters by 30 millimeters. And then now what we can do is extrude this out by 30 millimeters. And then now we have this actual block piece. So then what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on top of it. We're going to drop some uh, holes in here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come back into here. And we want these to occur uh, basically 15 millimeters. So it's going to be in the center of this, right? And then we're going to have them occur 20 millimeters from the side right here, 20 millimeters from this side, and then also on the center, okay? So what we're going to go ahead and do is put this right here. We're going to go boom, boom, and boom. So I'm just going to place them. Then we can dimension these out. So this needs to be 15 millimeters. So 15 millimeters from here. Also, this guy needs to be 15 millimeters from here. And then also, this guy needs to be 15 millimeters. Then what we want to do is we want to dimension this, make sure it's far enough away. So this is 20 millimeters. This is also going to be 20 millimeters. And then this guy is in the center already, so we're good to go. And then so now basically what we want to do is we want to end up creating the holes for this. So we're going to be uh, looking at these hole notes here. So this is a counter sink hole. This is a counter bore hole. And then this is just a simple hole. What we can also see is that... Um, this one is going down a uh, half of an inch. This one is all the way through, and then this one's also going down half of an inch. So all we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna come back into here, and then we're gonna click on the holes. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. First one's countersink. Then we wanna make sure that we're using these correct details. So the uh, diameter of the actual hole itself should be half a uh, quarter of an inch. So we're gonna make sure that's in there. Next thing is that the top part of this, the diameter of that's gonna be 0.4 inches. We want to make sure it's also at 82 degrees, and then the depth of this is going to be half of an inch. So then we'll press the green check mark. That guy's good to go. Then we want to come back to this sketch and actually make sure that that is um, on there so we can see it. All right, so next part, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create this hole that's going to be in the center. So if we go back on here, we can look at hole in this detailed view on C. It's basically going to be our counter bore hole. It's going to be going all the way through. We've got a 0.2 inch diameter hole for the simple part and then for the actual counter bore head. This is going to be 0.35 inches in diameter. It's going to go down 0.2 inches as well. So we're going to go ahead and go in here. We're going to click on the hole tool again. Click right here on this guy. We're going to change this to counter bore. Just as we said before, we want to make sure that the actual diameter of the counter bore head is going to be 0.35 inches. So we're going to put in here 0.35. We're going to make sure that the depth of the counter bore head is 0.2 inches. And then what we want to do is we're going to go in here and make it a through hole. And then the diameter of the simple hole is going to be 0.2. So diameter of simple hole 0.2. It's going to be going uh, through. So we want to do instead of blind, we're just going to do through as the option. Press the green check mark. Everything looked good here. Um, let's see here. So through. Yep. Okay, sweet. Perfect. Yeah, so everything's good on that one. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do the simple hole. One thing that you do want to be watching out for is make sure that this sketch too, that you are bringing that up in case if it ever hides on you. Um, so we're going to go to this hole though. So we're going to select that point, click hole again. This last one, pretty easy. All we got is just a simple hole diameter of 0.3 inches and then the depth is half of an inch. So we're just going to go in here, simple, 0.3. And then we do want to make sure that this is a blind hole. And then that's going half of an inch in, right? Yep. So we're going to press green check mark. And so now what we've done is we have created those three holes in here, right? So what we want to do next is we want to create in here this drawing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a new drawing. So we can rename this um, holes block. That's what we're going to rename this part. And then what we can do is we can right click this and then we can click create drawing. So what we do want to do is make sure that it's the MHP title, custom title block, and we're going to click four views. I'm going to click OK. Now this is going to load up our new drawing, right? Okay. 
So it's just going to take a little while. What we want to do is we really want to make sure that we've got a lot of uh, space on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this over as much as I can to the left, move this over as much as I can to the right. Still want to kind of keep these in line though with each other. Uh, but what we also want to do is in these two views, we do want to make sure that this is showing the hidden lines. And then up here, we also want to show this as a shaded view. Okay. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm first going to actually create this section view. So what we can do up here is we just go to section view and then we're going to click horizontal. Then I'm going to zoom in on here make sure that that's centered. And then I'm going to actually create my section view like right about here. Now we can drag this down just a little bit as well. And so we're going to do that. Uh, next thing that we want to do is we do want to put in our overall dimensions on here. So let's go ahead and put this in here. So this, we're going to drop this overall width and then also this depth guy here. So let's do this depth guy first. We're going to basically go from here to here. And then we're going to, oop, that was giving me a little bit of an issue. Let's try that again. Dimension tool, boom. And then let's go to this line right here. And then so now I'm going to go ahead and run this. What I do want to do is I want to double click on this after pressing escape. I'm going to go to millimeters, what I'm going to select that as. And then I'm going to run the dimension tool again. Go right here. And then I'm going to make sure that this is also in millimeters. So millimeters again. Perfect. Um, so then now that is good. What we also want to do is we want to make sure that we've got all our center lines on here. So we can go edge to edge center line. Just go ahead and create that. Edge to edge again. Maybe also do this, guys. So they'll bring that out a little bit. Edge to edge again. Oops, there we go. Um, so that's looking good. We can also do that down here as well. We want to have those center lines. And so that's looking good so far. Next thing that we're going to want to do is we will also want to end up dimensioning all of these out so that we've got those distances in here. So I'm just going to press D on my keyboard or click right here. We're going to run this dimension right here. We want to make sure that all these basically are in. Uh, millimeters is what we want to do. So I'm going to press escape, double click this, change this to millimeters once again. And then we can run another dimension. We can chain dimension this actually what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and chain dimension this. I'm going to double click this after clicking escape, press millimeters again. And then we can chain dimension this guy one more time. And then we're going to press escape, double click here, and then select millimeters once again. Okay, sweet. So we have all those. Uh, next thing that we want to do is we want to come over here make sure that we've got our height put in there. So then I'm going to double click this, make sure this is changed to millimeters. There we go. And then we do want to actually include the overall depth of this as well. So we can run that in here. I'm probably going to put this right out here. And then we're going to change this unit to millimeters. And so that is that part on how we're going to create this. Alrighty, so next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to actually add in these detailed views. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in here, click detailed view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from over here and I'm just going to go to the center of this hole, click right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this right up here. Next thing we're going to do is do a detailed view again. We're going to go right here in the center, grab this, and I'm going to place this right here. And then finally, we're going to go to detailed view again, and then we're going to click right here. We're going to place this one right down here. And then what we want to do is we basically want to create the whole notes for these. So if we do the whole slash thread call out, we can just come in here, click on one part of this. And then right here, this will create the whole note for that countersink. And then we're going to do it for this counter bore as well. Click right there. And then finally, we're going to do it for the simple hole right here. And so that is how we can create this multi-view drawing that includes the section of views as well as the detailed views. Hope that was helpful. As always, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what you'll be doing is taking a screenshot of this, and this is what you're going to actually upload. All right. Uh, what we can also do as well, if you right-click this, you can click Export. Then that will also give you the option to export as a PDF if you select that. And then you can give it a file name, and then click Export. But yeah, hope that was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.